Okay, next step. We have graded the celery and the onions in our bowl here. Now we are preparing the heated up chicken broth. It's on the stove and we're going to put butter or margarine or some kind of butter and olive oil mixture, whichever you prefer. Usually we're going to use sticks of butter, but again, whatever you got around, whatever you like. So uh, you can't overdo it with butter. Butter makes everything better. So we're going to have a combination of uh, chicken broth and melted butter, which is going to act as both, again, giving it moisture, helping you mix it, and a little bit of a binder. So while we're waiting for that to finish melting and mixing, here's what we've done. See, we have the uh, grated celery and the onions that are going to go inside. And now we're going to take our stuffing mix, put it in the bowl. We're going to take a little bit of our cornbread mix, and I'm going to take a little bit of our one bag of our kind of herb season mix. Again, I like a little bit of both. You might just prefer doing uh, cornbread only, or you might prefer to do something else. Doesn't matter, whatever your taste is. So we've got our stuffing mix, we've got our onion, we've got our celery, and then you can put in your seasonings. Now, I, I may have not mentioned this before, but parsley, I like parsley. Parsley is good for adding. You can get fresh parsley, or you can get the dried parsley. This is also going to help keep it moist as well. Now, since I have the pink Himalayan sea salt, we're going to use some of that. You want the coarsely ground stuff. You want it nice and finely ground, not the chunks it'll often come to. And you know there's no special measurements. If you like salty, if you like it saltier, you put more salt in. If you don't, then you don't. Some people like stuff that's salty, some people don't. We're going to throw our pepper in there. You can't overdo it, trust me. And to keep it simple, again, we're just going to go with plain old garlic powder. And I like garlic, so I don't think you can have too much garlic. Now that's me, I'm Italian. So again, to your taste. A couple of eggs. Now this is going to help kind of bind it and keep it together. So we're going to do, for something this size, you can go with one if it's a small batch. Two is usually about what I'm going to use. And then we grab a fork here. And we're going to mix that. Okay, so now, before you do much mixing, now it's about time for our binding. And you can add some water to this as well. Yeah, a little water doesn't hurt, but you want it warm because you got to melt that butter. And then we're going to pour this in, and this makes it nice and easy for the mixing. And then we're going to just kind of mix it around, get all those nice ingredients together, the celery, the onion, the garlic, the salt, the pepper, the parsley. And if you want, I'll be happy to post approximate amounts of water and salt and pepper, but really it's your taste. You can't, that's the nice thing about the way we do our cooking here, you can't really go wrong. And uh, most times I do it a little bit different each time. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect. You can't really overdo it too much. So if you're concerned, maybe go with a little less salt, a little less pepper, a little less whatever. and then you can season it a little more to your taste later. I find most people under season their food. See what I like is, I like eating a good meal where I don't have to put any extra seasoning on it. You go to a lot of restaurants and you almost always have to put extra seasoning on it. And they do that because a lot of people, you know, maybe have, are on low sodium diets and, and those kind of things, uh, or they're concerned that somebody might not like something too garlicky. I'm sorry. 
I'm Italian. I was raised Italian. I like garlic. I like, I'm a salt fanatic. I like salt. Maybe everybody's not like me, but hey, again, I prefer a little extra seasoning. So when someone bites into something I cook, they don't have to be dumping a bunch of extra seasoning on it. And you can kind of taste that a little bit. Hmm, not bad. Want a little taste test? And you kind of say, do I need a little extra garlic? Do I need a little extra salt? Or is it just about right? And again, you may want something a little extra spicy. So you throw a little extra pepper in there, maybe. And again, in my mind, you can never have too much garlic. This is also going to help. Some of this is going to kind of soak into the turkey. Because remember, this is we're going to stuff the turkey. And this is going to help keep that turkey moist. Because you've got this nice, moist stuffing. Well seasoned. Cooking up in the middle of that turkey so it's going to help keep that turkey moist and this is going to also kind of blend into that turkey a little bit so kind of helps them both the turkey because it's inside it kind of retains that moisture in the stuffing so the stuffing is nice and moist and at the same time that that uh, stuffing is going to help keep that turkey nice and moist and help with the seasoning there so here we are step three and we're going to take a short break here and then we're almost Done and ready to go.